Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ray Torn, and welcome back to Hearts Found 4 as we are playing as Russia. So, I got everything set up for our war, so we can start that at the beginning of today's episode, and I'll show you guys all that. But before I forget to do these things, let's do them first. So, I went ahead and designed our aircraft for the carriers. I didn't name them. You guys can feel free to put some suggestions out here, or we can just keep the generic names that they have. Uh, so this is our carrier fighters. Very basic. We don't really need drop tanks or anything like that because I only let them, uh, uh, you know, fight on the carriers. I don't usually assign them to do any other additional missions. So you don't really need any uh, increased range for these. I think this is pretty solid. I got the very good air attack. I mean, look at the modifiers we're getting here for max speed and agility. 25% for both of those, plus a 5% on the air attack. But yeah, solid plane here. I think they should do well. And then we got the naval bombers as well. Also very basic. Got the the torpedoes on there. A little bit of a machine gun defense turret, but very basic model here. They have increased reliability, increased range by using this MIO. Now I did not change these up, so we can go ahead and take a look at the best options here. So I forgot about this. Probably that one. Got to be something that looks kind of big with this this here. You can also go with that one. We'll go with this one. That's the closest. And then we'd want to change this icon as well. Honestly, none of these really look right. I don't like how any of them look. Nothing looks quite like this, so it doesn't really matter. We'll just pick, uh, we'll go with this one. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And then, yeah, we'll want to go ahead and put a few factories into these guys. You don't need very many of these. So we won't prioritize them. We'll just put one factory into the fighters and we'll we'll see how we're looking once we get closer. Uh, remember we only need 60 planes to staff, 60 of these fighters to staff both of the carriers. So you don't need much. And then uh, with the naval bombers, you'll need a, a few more of those. And so we'll want to probably put two factories into these. Probably prioritize those over the fighters, honestly. So we'll put the, the two factories into those. And eventually they'll they'll get those constructed. I just wanted to get it done. Uh, the other thing we need to do is also regarding the Air Force. We still haven't gotten the, the Spirit of the Academies for the Army yet. The Army experience has just been so short. Uh, but yeah, we have some air experience, even after I made those designs, still remaining. And so we can go ahead and get one of these. Let's go with the air superiority bonus here. And we'd actually get another one. Naval mission efficiency would be nice. But we're going to do the ground support. We'll get that next. I don't know that we'll do this. We're not really doing any strategic bombing right now. I eventually will use them. I don't know we need them for Germany. I think we're going to take so much territory so rapidly uh, that we'll be destroying stuff that we're eventually going to have under our own control. And then the last thing we need to do is we do not have a commander for this tank division. So let's go ahead and just choose... Probably a tank commander, even though he's not going to get that trait because he doesn't have the experience. But yeah, why not? He should be a tank commander. And uh, we could get, grant some citations, but we wouldn't be able to grant enough. Probably not. Because you'd have to do three. I mean, that might be enough. We might be able to do it. I don't know, because it's like 30 and then 37. What's the, what's the third one? I don't remember how much the third one was. If it's like 50-something, maybe. Maybe we could do it. Yeah, we'll try. Um, so we want to get the organization increased there, and oops, we'll also do the division recovery rate. You know, it's 45, so yeah, we were able to uh, to get it done. And so for the last one, no, I think tanks really could use division recovery rate. So we were able to get that done. We can now promote him. That's going to use all of our command power. Another reason why I didn't want to uh, get an attache going. And he actually has the engineer officer. Okay. It's kind of a, a choice, a random choice that can happen. It can be the armor one or the engineer one. And we ended up getting the engineer one. Okay, whatever. Uh, that does give you the engineer experience factor, I suppose. But I would have rather had the tank commander. We'll put him in charge here. And it's not letting me appoint him. Maybe because I just did too much there. Let's try and do this again. Yeah, I don't even think we had our army still selected. So I've already showed you guys the situation on land. You know where all our troops are and what the plan is for them. So here's the situation in the sea. 
We've got all of our fleets assigned. We have the two doing the strike force. Got some more ships coming here to get them in a better number. I think one more destroyer. I think that they'll need an additional one once we have it. And then we have three doing the patrols. They're just in this region for right now. We could send them to the English Channel. I'd prefer not to though. It's just so easy to lose a bunch of ships there. And then we've got these guys here assigned to doing the naval invasion support, which <laughs> I probably should have changed that because we don't really need to hit Danzig anymore. And think about that now with this new situation, but it's too late. That's what they're doing. And then we have these two doing the convoy escort. And then we got our one mine fleet. And then all of our submarines are all assigned to their tasks. As for the planes, this is what it looks like. So I've got naval bombers in all of these zones here. Even in the English Channel. And then we got fighters and close air support. And these other regions. Not as many planes as I would like to have. Of course we do have those railway guns giving us bonuses everywhere as well. And uh, it seems that the, the infrastructure problems are no longer an issue now that we built those rails up. So looking pretty good in that regard as well. All right, so I think we are ready to declare war. So we're gonna be starting that with Latvia. We'll call in our allies. And that'll result in us being at war eventually with all the central powers. I assume they will accept the call to war. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna turn this down speed three and then start the invasion here uh, where it matters is attacking this area right here so let's go ahead and take I'll just take the tanks and then have the infantry support this all right so they launched their attacks immediately and who did they just call in did they call anybody in yet doesn't look like it Okay, make sure I didn't send anybody. I think I had a unit selected when we did that. All right, so they're launching their attacks, and you can see that we are outnumbered on this front. We didn't build any forts or anything. But should con hopefully control the skies here, and so that will help. And then if we go to their capital, it doesn't really matter if they win in those locations. So just waiting for them to pull in their allies. They have not done so yet. Maybe they refuse to accept because of the situation. I don't know. Can you get over here? You can. Okay, so we're gonna send one tank over that way. One over here. We're not gonna go there. Instead, we're just gonna go across the river here. Same thing with this guy and then this guy. He'll go this way. Alright, so should be able to get across the river there, and then that allows us to attack the capital. And the British now want a non-aggression pact, we will accept that. We'll accept non-aggression pacts with anybody who wants to send us one. Uh, this is actually undefended, so we can take this territory here. Uh, let's go and bring this unit over here, and we should probably do an attack here as well, just kind of help out in these areas where we're losing. And bring the, the uh, railway gun a little bit closer here. All right, so we are getting the bonuses in those area. And what matters, I think, for these tanks is to have them over here. Oh, all these guys went to that front, of course they did. All right, so hurry up and get these guys over to here. And let's make sure that we're fixing these fronts as we go. Alright, so yeah, we want those guys to take off, leave there. Although, you know what? I'm actually going to let this guy go ahead and take that. Again, accepting these non-aggression packs. And we'll see where we can advance. We might be able to attack there successfully. Alright, so we have to defend here. Could probably get across the river just because that unit is so weak at this point. And so now they're attempting to take off here. Having their river bonus here was pretty helpful. I'm going to accept Turkey's offer for a non-aggression pact. But yeah, now we should get the experience pretty fast. So we're just thinking convoys. They have not pulled in anybody else. I wonder why they haven't uh, accepted. You know they sent the offer off because it was a... Uh, this. 
This is a defensive conflict. Uh, let's go and attack that guy and then we'll go here and cut Riga off from the rest of the country. All right, so this is the first one that's joined, Pakistan. So Pakistan is now in the conflict and uh, I don't even know where they're at now. It looks like there's no, no Pakistan remaining since the British conquered them. So they don't have anything to lose. I guess that's why they're the first ones to accept. There's only a matter of time for the, the rest of their allies come into the conflict. And unfortunately we did get cut off here. So let's go ahead and reconnect this. Pronto. Gonna attack there as well. And we'll just keep the tank going because I'm not too worried. <laughs> I think we'll get this reconnected. We're gonna win both of those battles it seems. And we'll go ahead and go over to this area as well. Yeah, they are definitely putting up a bit of a fight. So they had plenty of troops up on the, the front. And they had enough time to defend this uh, southern border as well. All right, so let's go and go after the capital now. Yeah, we're able to take that very easily. Excellent. So we wanted both of those two. And so we should be able to get this reconnected here. Excellent. And I'm going to keep this guy. Oops, I need to stop that attack. Keep that one tank here while the rest of them go over this way. All right, so let's go and grab this location. And we do have military factories, I guess, that we took from them. So I think we're going to pull from infantry equipment because there's just so much stuff that we currently need. Really need to pump into those anti-tanks. That's what we're hurting on the most. And then whenever we get the opportunity to, to get more factories, we're going to put those into the fighters. I feel like that's what I'm lacking. In fact, I almost want to pull from naval bombers. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have a lot of them. All right, so it looks pretty good. And we are starting to build those carrier planes as well. Sinking those convoys. Okay. I wouldn't have put all those ships out there if I knew I was only going to be fighting. <laughs> only going to be fighting Latvia. Alright, we're going to attack here. It's like we are able to win there. I think that's because they weren't able to reinforce fast enough. Alright, let's go and take this territory over now. And once this guy gets here, we'll have him attack over there. Avoiding attacking these fortifications if we can. Let's go ahead and also make sure these guys don't leave. And get the win there. Alright, so looking pretty good here. Let me just make sure there's no uh, movement between the two fronts. See, I wasn't expecting to be able to fight Lavia so exclusively. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They're now attacking... They should be able to attack from this territory because it's neutral, but... But yeah, they are attacking from the neutral territory. Alright, let's go and take that location next. And... These guys can actually be on this front here. Same thing with them. Anybody's coming over here can stay on this front. And let's go and attack them with the heavy tank now. And the light tank will go over here. Send the infantry there as well. And we got the 15 experience, so let's go ahead and make the adjustment here. So we can change and change these all up. And again, be very careful as we do it, because you'd lose all your efficiency if you do the wrong ones here. You know, with those little adjustments, you don't actually lose any efficiency. I'm going to attack over there. And avoiding attacking the tank. I don't know if you guys noticed that. <laughs> don't really see the the points. I'm inviting him if we don't need to. All right, guys. So I kind of feel like we're done here. We're not even going to probably use any of this since we just have so few operatives. We should just focus our civilian factories on construction. All right. So fighting over there, and should be taking that province. They have not capitulated yet. So we'll focus on taking this territory. Get this guy here cut off. And just make sure we're moving those rail, the rail guns as well as we go forward. So yeah, I should be getting some bombardment bonuses there. And let's go and make sure we're taking this territory. Oh, these guys are tempted to leave here. Let's not let them do that. 
And we can't attack over there, so I'm not sure how you deal with that. I think they're going to... Yeah, to the sea. To go into this port, which means our submarines should be able to catch them and destroy them. So, probably not the best way for them to do that. They'd be better off just keeping them there and then helping out. Whenever Estonia jumps into the war, which... I guess we don't know when that's going to be. If they don't jump in soon, then they'll be a peace treaty and we'll just be able to take them over. That'd be weird. That's not what I'd be expecting to have happen here. But might be the way it goes down. And can we get them any closer? It's hard sometimes to tell exactly where they're at. I think there's some around here, but yeah, I don't think you can get them any closer here. We haven't converted the railways over. Alright, so... I guess we just let them leave. I mean, I can attempt to attack them here, but not really any benefit of doing that. I mean, they've already capitulated, so it doesn't matter. And so we'll have the peace treaty, which is surprising. And uh, it seems you can also conquer Pakistan. Well, that's interesting because they joined the war. Okay, uh, well, let's focus on taking, man, where's all our points? We got like no points in this. Well, that's interesting. Oh, okay, pulled all them in. That's not good. Ah, uh, that's irritating. Yeah, that's a real shame, guys. They'll be able to take this territory over. Man, that's that's really frustrating because of the Pakistan situation. And I guess because they're in the war too. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. But yeah, they really shouldn't. Hmm. Yeah, the whole thing's messed up, basically, guys. So, India will basically be able to annex this territory. That's that's not good. And the same thing would probably happen to Estonia as well if uh, they weren't able to pull the central powers in. Yeah, maybe I should just declare war on Germany or Austria-Hungary so this doesn't happen. Okay, well, that's a real bummer and doesn't make any sense because we conquered them. It'll cost them a lot of points, but I do expect that India would take this over. We can we can get what we can. I'm trying to see the best way to go about doing this. Like maybe take the coastline. No, we can't even do that. All right, we have so few points. That's what we can do. And it seems that they did subjugate them. Oh well, maybe not. We might be able to get it. Because I'm not really like going after like any additional territory like down here where it seems that the British might have taken that over. We'll see if we can get this. It might just be the one, one bit of territory and just not have enough points. Okay, we were able to get all of it. Alright, that's all I wanted. I didn't want any, any of Pakistan. I didn't even expect them to, I mean, I would have took it, I suppose, but I didn't expect them to join the conflict like that, to be the only ones. The only ones that supported their ally. Um, so yeah, we got everything we wanted here, that's what matters. Let's go and pause this. And then, uh, let's figure out how we want to deal with this now. We're gonna accept the non-aggression packs here. And I mean, we did get everything that we wanted. And maybe this time, I mean, I don't really know how it's going to end up working. How long would it take for us to get a war goal against, say, Germany? Probably not long. Yeah, because we have the claims. I mean, you could just go after... Creates more world tension, of course, but... We also have all the claims here. Might be better to declare war on them because you got a lot more claims. I mean, you only have to do it for one. This does all help with the peace treaty, though. And it only takes 15 days. I'm gonna see if we can't just get them knocked out, though, and, and do it on one peace treaty. Yeah, I think that's that's what we're gonna do here, guys. Because then we can move the whole army over to this front. Because once we start uh, trying to get a war goal the normal way, you know they're gonna pump troops over to here. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll also send these tanks over here. 
we don't really want to invade from this territory. So you know what? Let's not... Yeah, I don't feel like we need any more troops over here than what we already have. So let's go ahead and pull that back and then bring these guys like so. I just want to declare war immediately because I don't want them to bring a bunch of troops down here. Well, although they might leave it open because they got those high level forts. Let's go ahead and get these guys, you know, hurrying over here. See how long it takes to get these guys here. And then we can also bring the railway gun. I think we have two of them. There's another one somewhere. Here it is. We don't control the rails yet. That'll be three days. Okay, so I suppose you just take this one here. Bring him over here for now. And then eventually you'd want to bring this guy once you have control of the railways. I think we should just go ahead and declare war now before they bring more troops over here. I mean, you might have time. Oh, nope, they got him there. Okay, so there's really no reason not to, to wait other than they're entrenching. I suppose there's that. But you don't have all your troops over here, so something to consider. Got this guy here, and that's fine. But yeah, you might as well move the railway guns here. But yeah, you got five days where you can get this one over here. Well, we did get that 1940 destroyer holes. All right, excellent. So we'll get those designed in a minute. Uh, let's get the submarines. They're so so behind on these. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, 148 days to get the submarines. Uh, let's go ahead and design the new destroyers, which I did set them up to only build two. So you just got the one left to construct, and we do want to set these guys to deploy. Well, it's not letting me. Here we go. Probably could have that open. So let's go ahead and design our new destroyers. So we're going to be using those Imperial destroyers, that little crab icon, and the dual purpose as we were before. Put the new anti-air on there, get the sonar, radar, torpedoes, behind on torpedo tech as you can see. And then probably just depth charges all the way across guys. Because we're relying on our destroyers to find and destroy any submarines. So that's 40 experience. So we do have enough to complete it. So we'll go ahead and put these new ones out there. And we'll want the dockyards that we have in the current destroyers to just go straight to this one here. Uh, we still need more dockyards. Yeah, definitely could use more. Uh, so let's go ahead, we got two more constructing, but let's go ahead and set up a few more of these to build. Uh, we won't build in these places that aren't core territory though. Uh, we can put these, yeah why not, we'll put them here. We should have done that up to the top. There we go. I suppose we can do one more here as well. So I could you five more dockyards, but really not, not enough. So let's go ahead and keep on building in this area. Yeah, I'll do like three more, and then we'll see how it looks. Remember, we got a lot of other stuff they're working on too. All right, so they moved out of that level six fort, so now is a good time to declare war. Particularly if that guy leaves, well, no, he'll be there soon. Okay, let's just declare war. And then let's hope that we're able to get control of it all. It works out all right. Because this time they won't have anywhere else to to go to. They don't have forts here, so you might as well just attack. So do these attacks and then push forward. And with this tank unit, let's just have him lock those guys down. Because we should be able to win in those two locations. Especially if you bring this guy here. Uh, who'd they just pull in? I didn't even see. Let me just take a look at who all we're currently fighting. Just Estonia, they didn't pull anybody in. I think we pulled somebody in. That must have been the notification. Alright, so these guys are all leaving here, so they're just gonna let us take that... Uh, isn't it like a level 10 fort? Yeah. They're just gonna let us take it. That's foolish. But okay. 
we'll take it then. If that's what you guys want to do. Just leave your level 10 forts. Why do even, you even bother building them? Uh, this here is, is a fort. We'll try and get over there. Well, it's undefended. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why they just abandoned that fort. Uh, that's obviously not the way to go. Well, I guess it's still better. Probably won't even get over here in time, honestly. For them to have any effect. I think uh, Estonia is going to last even less time than Latvia did. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is just take maybe half his army, have him go that way, the other half go over here. Alright, so we did win over here. It's going to attack over here as well. Oh yeah, this is going to go nice and quick. While we're doing all this, we could have changed up our naval invasion point to try and cut off more troops, like go after uh, Stettin instead. Uh, you could just set it up. You don't even have to like get rid of the other invasion. Although, they're not actually letting me do it. I'm not entirely sure if it has to do with the area or because we already have 10 divisions assigned. So let me just take these guys out. And then we put them back into this one. And then from there, maybe it'll let me do it. Yeah, that's what it was, because we already have 10 divisions assigned, and that's the maximum we can do. All right, so you just then take... Okay, they're all now assigned to that. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why that's still not. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so having lots of problems with this. Because of uh, being at the max already. Okay, so that's a little annoying. So now they're going over to that one. So I want them all over on that one. So let me see if we can make this work. It's the auto assign that's messing everything up. Okay, what if I just assign them to that? There we go. Yeah, because they're auto assigning them. And so yeah, the problem is that you can only have the 10 divisions assigned. So yeah, we can keep that if we want to and then let them plan for this one here. It's going to take so long, probably won't get to do it. Should have been working on that when I was doing this invasion, but you know, I couldn't have predicted that uh, they weren't going to assist their allies. I mean, I guess you should have expected it, considering the fact that they're so distracted, and in fact they're losing on those fronts. And we got all these planes flying overhead, I mean, fuel's not a problem, so I guess there's no reason not to, outside of the, the casualties you're taking, of course, because of uh, those penalties we have. The air accidents chance is kind of significant for us. And let's make sure. Oh, they cancel the non-aggression packs. I expect war with Japan will happen sooner than we'd want it to. Let's see what happened over here. Oh, we sunk one of their destroyers, two convoys. And we'll be accepting these non-aggression packs from the allies, right? Aren't they still the allies? I think they're still the allies. Alright, so we're going to try and go after their capital there. And let's send these guys in here as well. And then we'll have these guys attack over here. So they'll be capitulating soon. This guy will go this way and he'll go after the capital. And probably just go ahead and cancel that actually. Because they are clearly not going to win there. And it wouldn't hurt to take as many provinces as possible and to do as much damage as possible. To have the, the highest war score that we can have. We just ended win in October. I thought we'd won. Not yet. So we could just leave the capital. <laughs> I suppose that's the way to do it. Yeah, just leave the capital wide open. Or just leave it uh, still occupied, I should say. Go ahead and grab this and go after everything but the capital. So you can have the uh, most war score possible. With the damages that you're causing to them and stuff. Let's go this way now. And the territory you're occupying. 
Alright, so I don't know that we need all these guys going over here, so let's just go ahead and have them come over here. And then, yeah, we'll... Oh. I was going to say we'll do our attack there. Not necessary. And... Nobody else is involved in this. And they don't have any points. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe it was just the points they got from fighting Pakistan. I don't know. And that's why they had points in the last one. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, they do have some screening chips I suppose we can take. Alright, so that's it. Let's go ahead and confirm an exit. Denmark just canceled their non-aggression pact as well. Alright, so we've taken over all that territory. And we also took their ships from them. We got three old destroyers. Okay, we'll probably just send those to this. Task Force. And we're going to send these guys over to here and then take the oldest one, which is probably a C. Yeah, it looks like it's a C. And then put them into this task force here. All right, so I sent these 16 divisions over to here. White Army will have less of that to cover. The five tanks are going to come here and go towards Danzig since we don't have the uh, naval invasion going that way anymore. And I think we will still, we'll try and have them go this way. I don't know. 8 of 70 days plan. Probably not going to be able to do that. Could also attack over here, I suppose. Yeah, I expect that they're going to get there in time, but whatever. We'll, we'll see what happens there, guys. I sent the other eight divisions that ran in here over to this front. And we can actually change up their icon. Do we have any hearts yet? Because we're going to spread love to the, the German Empire. Yeah, we'll put the hearts over here. Alright, so that looks solid. Okay, so I suppose we're ready to declare war. I've already moved the, the rails over here. I changed up the planes as well. So move the planes out of here and put them into other areas. And so, yeah, we're, we're basically ready. We just need a whirl. And I really want to go to war with uh, Germany. Well, Austria-Hungary is ripe for invasion too. And I assume Germany's going to come into this. I don't know. Let, let's declare war on, on Austria-Hungary, I guess. And as far as what we're going to go after... Doesn't really matter. I suppose we could do Bohemia just because it'd be worth the most points to take. You know, Prague would be. So, you know, it's good to make it cheaper for the uh, treaty. Alright, so that'll only take 15 days, but it is going to give them a warning now. They, they know we're coming, and so they'll have time to move troops over here. Uh, so the exact timeline here is the 20th of October. We're definitely attacking way later than I had wanted to, which is a shame does give us time to get those troops over to the Netherlands, though. We got the advanced computing machine as well. All right, excellent. So we still need to get these radar. And the fire control systems is always great to get as well. Now that they've changed those up. So yeah, we would like to, to get those. But yeah, I feel like we have to get... We gotta get the radar, guys. So let's go and get that. Frankly, there's just so much stuff that we need. So we're finishing up that destroyer. I haven't done it on the 18th of, of October. So yeah, just moving the troops over to the front and we'll see how many troops Austria Hungary puts on the border before we declare war. Yeah, it looks like they might get a few of them. Germans are moving as well, although that might be all Austria Hungary moving onto this front. Central powers are getting ready, guys. They know we're coming now. So my plan to build to just invade their territory without much of a fight clearly is not going to work. I guess we're going to get this because they didn't, uh, they didn't, you know, agree to the the call to arms <laughs> from their their allies. They just let them get conquered. It's messed up. But if they had, then you know I would have been able to just invade into their territory. And now they have time to get troops over here. It's not completely, yeah, undefended. They can even get entrenched some. Now, Germany is only defended by Austria-Hungary, so do keep that in mind. But I assume that means the Italians are going to start making progress over here. I think we needed 15 experience. No, this is a naval aircraft designer. That's right, we already did that, that one design. Okay, so yeah, we can go ahead and get the next one here. So you can do surface detection. I suppose that's pretty helpful. Yeah, I almost want to go ahead and do that. Let's do the surface detection. You gotta update two of these now though, so you actually do need 10 experience. 
since we have the the carrier designs now so let's go ahead and add these in there and these all right so one more day and we can now declare war on Austria Hungary and we'll see if Germany will agree to their uh, call to arms because we can't invade German territory until they end of the war as well uh, so they don't have a lot of troops on the border yeah it's not a lot we should be able to invade without too many issues so with the the tanks let's go here and here we'll support those with some infantry not really want to attack into mountains if we can avoid it or across rivers we're gonna avoid all that and try and focus on cutting troops off that's why we're doing this pincer movement in the first place and so we have these tanks over here we're doing that same thing and we see how we want to do this we'll have this guy go over there and we'll want to give him some infantry support we'll just support that rather than do a full-on attack so these are hills so let's attack into those that away we we'll also want to take a look and see where these supply hubs are. There's actually one right there. We should probably prioritize that supply hub then. Oh, we can't do it that way. Okay, so we'll attack this way. And can he attack there? He cannot. He's got to go through that territory, I see. Alright, so yeah, kind of avoid the mountains where we can. And yeah, we'll try and cut these guys off this way. Like so. Okay, that looks pretty solid. Turn that down. Tibet has agreed to join the war. And then let's support this attack. Actually, I don't want that guy leaving, so we're going to go to attack. And then we wanted to support here with these troops. Yeah, we've already won there. Excellent. And there's an opening here. So we're going to take it. Maybe. They did move somebody there, but he's taking the rail, so he has no organization. And Germany's not in the war, but there are Germans on here that are still able to fight. Okay, not sure how that works, but whatever. All right, so our tanks have already advanced over here. Let's go ahead and now have them push forward into that location. And then over here, let's go after Vienna. This is what the whole two-pronged attack was attempting to do. In fact, this guy's gonna go this way. And then let's have this tank go over here since it's undefended while these guys are going into that city of Graz. And then they moved all their troops from across the river here, so might as well take advantage of these undefended provinces. And you know what? I'm even going to attack across here just to lock that guy down briefly. Alright, and then we're going to go over here and over here. Lots of Germans not accept Austria-Hungary's call to arms either. And it's just going to be these contained conflicts. That would be so weird. <laughs> Whatever. We'll take it, I guess. Not the way I was planning on fighting this, though. It didn't... Yeah, I wouldn't have planned this out as well either. I mean, we could have went to war a long time ago if it was going to go down like this. Jeez, this is... This is unacceptable, Germany. What are you doing? <laughs> this is wild, man. And let's see if we can't get over here first. So yeah, moving nice and fast. Exactly how we want this to go down. And let's make sure we're advancing all across this frontier. Attack right there as well, and up over here. So we've already taken Vienna. And the British Empire just declared war on Burma, which we checked them a while ago, and they are not in a faction. So I don't know if that'll change anything. I assume they'll join a faction that's already at war with Japan. Or excuse me, already war with Britain. Who is at war with Britain? Just the United States' is a faction and the Central Powers? Yeah. So that could affect us in some degree if Burma joins the Central Powers. Let's just see what happens there. Uh, we did get the Foster Flying Cubs. Excellent. So this will improve our Air Force a lot. I suppose they could join the Japanese faction and then pull... Japan into war with Britain. That would be good. 
But yeah, we'll just have to see what happens there. I assume it would be the Central Powers, since they're the only ones. Or, you know what? It could be America. It'd be one of those two, since they're the ones that are at war already. All right, so there are still penalties on that modifier here. We'll take a look what all we're still getting. Still major penalties, guys. We do have a, a bonus now. Air Wing Mission Experience Gain is up. So you can get the Women in Aviation. So that's going to improve some of those penalties. Get more air experience as well. The air accidents chance is the one you want to get rid of. The most, really. I mean, all these are, are penalties you don't want. But that's where you're taking a lot of uh, casualties un unnecessarily. So these two are going to reduce those by 25%. Which I think would get rid of them in that case. So maybe expand aviation institutes. These are all 70 days, right? Yep, they're all 70 days. Okay, so yeah, we'll get that one. Just trying to get rid of some of these penalties, guys, for our Air Force. So we don't take as many casualties out there unnecessarily. All right, so it's going to attack over there and we'll go this way as well. And then just try and get into... They're already going that way, so let's go over here make sure these guys can't evacuate. Push forward here as well. And going after Budapest. You know, I said Vienna was the capital. That's the capital of you know, Austria. The Hungarians are the ones who formed Austria-Hungary in our playthrough, since, you know, Austria doesn't even have its own focus tree. And so the capital is in Budapest. We don't need the tanks to cover all this, I don't think. And this got messed up. I'm like, where are all our, all our divisions at? That's where they're at. Defending the Italian border, of course. Exactly where they should be. <laughs> All right, so Budapest is ours now. We're about to be. Oh, never mind. The Buddha division over there, it's not ours. Spoke way too soon. Did get a ton of units cut off, so let's go and get all those destroyed now. Trying to avoid attacking in the mountains if possible. Should also be moving these railway guns when we can. Obviously, you got to take control of the rails before you can do that. Hmm, maybe let this guy leave. No, come over this way. Yeah, try and let that guy leave, I think, is, is the best way to do that. And let's go and have this guy go here. Hmm, let's actually stop going. I know we were winning that, but it wasn't... We weren't really actually winning. It didn't look like we were winning. Alright, so holding out here, alright. Let's go ahead and push forward here. and We'll work on trying to cut these troops off that are in this area. Burma did join the Central Powers. Okay, so that's unfortunate. British are just pulling in wars. Pulling in countries, I mean, into this war. And let's see if we can get over here. Alright, so we did win there. Let's go and attack right here. Because that'll cut off all these troops that are in this area. And we'll also support that attack. So it looks like we wiped out the unit there, but haven't finished up those guys yet. And this guy should not be leaving. Let's have him push forward towards that victory point. And just go and expand our front. Grab all this territory. Alright, so... I might not be able to avoid attacking in the mountains. Looks like that's where they're all retreating to. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna have to fight them in the mountains, unfortunately. It is what it is. Alright, so let's go and attack here and here. Get that guy wiped out. And then push forward. Into this territory. Also need to deal with the troops that are here. Trying to avoid attacking across the river, but it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's actually have this guy go over here and take that for us. Vienna should be wide open now. Alright, so he's expanding over this way. Or advancing, I should say. Alright, so now you just need to... Stop these guys from leaving here. They can leave, 
Need to stretch their front out though. So if something stops, so they'll redirect. And then you need to have these guys go like so. Something like that anyway. Alright, so let's go ahead and have these guys start pushing forward here. Getting this done. Alright, so they should have that completed soon. Alright, so Budapest is ours for the taking now. We just gotta win a battle. And <laughs> trying to get this finished up as well. Without attacking across rivers if we can avoid it, but yeah, there's a lot of rivers here, so. Alright, so Vienna, I thought we had it. Maybe we had it and lost it. I don't know, but we're about to get it back. Alright, so let's go ahead and move these this way. And who else did uh, come into this conflict? If that's what that was about? Nope, wasn't. I just keep clicking them closed without looking at them. And I assume it's somebody being brought in, but that's not not the case. Alright, so let me just take a look and see how we're doing on the equipment. Doing much better when it comes to anti-tank. We have a ton of infantry equipment now. Yeah, we don't need to build as much of that. We do still need to update, of course. I particularly want to focus on fighters and those anti-tanks. Uh, we could actually start building more troops because we got all that equipment from those countries that capitulated. So let's go ahead and build more tanks. I think we can get several more heavy tanks. That's where we run out, so we'll do just the three for now. And is that that training army? Let me just double check. Yeah, that's the training army. All right, excellent. Uh, so yeah, we'll want them to deploy over here into the training army. And then we'll get some Rasputins. But we can get several of these, yeah. So it's gonna be three for each of the tanks. And then we'll also get some Imperial Guard. The the one equipment they're lacking is, of course, the anti-tanks, so. But we got a lot of factories going into that. So hopefully we should be able to fix that shortage eventually. All right, so yeah, just get more troops training. Though we won't need them for the war against the Central Powers, clearly. Kind of a weird situation, man. It's not the way I had seen this war going down. So not exactly the most exciting way to fight a conflict. Well, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> I didn't expect it to happen this way. But it's the AI, man. AI is going to do what the AI is going to do. Did we ever take this over? Not yet. We did cut it in half, though. So let's get it finished. And then they'll come over here and help us with this front. Well, we've got an opening there, so you know what? We'd have to attack here. Make sure that those guys didn't go there. And you know what? We could probably cut across here as well, or at least lock those troops down. And then we don't want all these blue army troops going over to this front here. It's not necessary. I can just man this area and then we'll wipe those out. So I'm going to take that air base there. And you know, we'll wait until we finish taking... Well, we're not going to win there. Is this two separate fronts now? It is. Okay, so that's going to create some weird situations here. So once we get this tank unit over here, we're going to advance. Yeah, because we did cut them off here. So, I want to say, yeah, this is all part of their territory, so we do want to try and get control of that. So let's go ahead and do the attack. Let's see if we can't get that into our own hands. And then these guys are now cut off, so let's go ahead and get them wiped out. Again, going very smoothly. That's because nobody can resist us alone. Like, they need their whole faction, and yet they're, you know, biting us by themselves. Although, you know, like, these troops here would have been invading Germany, so, I mean, it's not like... Yeah, I don't know. It probably wouldn't have helped them much, honestly. The only way it would have helped them is by distracting me, because i got other fronts that I'm watching. But outside of that, I mean, this is probably how it would have went down, even if Germany had come into war. Because it's not like Germany could have manned their front without leaving their own front unmanned. I mean, they still got other fronts they're fighting on. They're fighting here against Italy, and they're fighting against France on multiple fronts here, and then they got the one in the Netherlands. So, I mean, it's not like Germany's just got tons of troops to, to help them out. So I don't think it really would have mattered. And it's kind of interesting... Uh, situation 
the way it's going down, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, we should probably get another line of the new destroyers. Yeah, I think we should. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't really need more of these old submarines here. Put the, the dockyards into these. Let's go ahead and get them deploying in St. Petersburg. All right, looking pretty good. And we also have more military factories. I've been assigning these like crazy, but yeah, there's just so much stuff that uh, that we're taking over. I'm Austria hungry. All right, so let's go ahead and advance against that cab unit. And I guess attacking them there, I don't know if that matters because I can just retreat over to German territory. Kind of a weird situation there because of it. At least help the well, the wide army so they can expand their front over here in case Germany does join the conflict. We're now in November. If Germany doesn't join, I almost feel like we should wait until winter's over before we do the attack on Germany. Why uh, suffer through an offensive against Germany in the winter if you don't have to? I mean, if it goes down like this where they don't have enough troops to defend their front though, I guess it won't matter whether it's winter or not. So yeah, let's just go and get these attacks done now, guys. Gotta go after Prague. Take this over. I'm actually a little surprised they haven't capitulated yet. I guess we should just go after Prague. That would force their capitulation. Uh, we will not accept the expeditionary force. It's unnecessary. The war's gonna be over here soon. Doesn't look like Germany's gonna be joining. If they don't join soon, then we'll have the peace treaty again. Now, this time I do expect that other factions are going to be involved. Okay, so they capitulated. The Italians actually got control of that, which is kind of frustrating. Okay. I'm not sure why they got that when I did all the work here. Okay, so we'll have to fix the front. Who are we still at war with? Wasn't it only Austria-Hungary? So yeah, there should be a peace treaty, I would think. But maybe not. Maybe because they're a major power, there's no peace treaty? Yeah, there might not be. Okay, so then we'd have to do a war goal against Germany in that case. I can let it play for like another day. I don't think there's going to be a peace treaty, guys. Nope. Okay, so yeah, kind of a weird situation here because I don't know how we'd invade them. They really shouldn't have gotten that. Bohemia, we have the claim on, so... Yeah, that's weird. They shouldn't have gotten any of that. Same thing here. So I'd have to fix... I'll have to fix it. We we'll only want to invade from our own territory, I and mean, we can't even invade from their ter territory. It just doesn't cause a lot of problems with supply and stuff now, because it's going to be all up in the way here. Yeah, that's... That's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm not sure how to fix it, because we're not in their faction. Do we have a... No, we don't have military access or anything. I'm not entirely sure why they... We're given that territory. Okay, so that's going to cause some problems. I mean, I don't know if we would have taken it all over. I mean, we wanted to take it. If we could. But yeah, I guess we'll do Germany next. They're the last last ones in the Central Powers that, that mattered. Let's see here if there's anybody else. Yeah, it's just Burma. Which we will not be uh, assisting in that conflict. Is it Burma that's causing a problem? Like, do you have to defeat Burma? No? Mm -mm. Okay. I mean, we're not even at war with Burma anyway. So yeah, that can't be it either. Yeah, I think it's just because they're a major power. Well, these other two were not. So I think that's what really happened there. You know what? I think waiting would be in our best interest because eventually the Germans would come over here and reconquer this territory. And then maybe we can get control of it. So yeah, I think that would be in our best interest is to wait. And I don't really want to do the invasion in winter anyways, though it doesn't matter if they don't defend their front, then you know, snow on the ground doesn't stop you. But it would take us, I think, 15 days to get another war goal against them. And yeah, they probably won't be able to properly defend their fronts. Maybe. they would. What they would do is they would send troops over here the moment we were going after the war goal. But where are they pulling them from? They're pulling them from other fronts. And so, therefore, how are they going to defend all of these? They're actually losing territory here in France. Like, how can they defend all of these areas up here and just, just everywhere? They can't. 
But yeah, waiting does allow us to get this invasion uh, further planned. We're at 39 of 70. So we're gonna hit Stettin instead of uh, over here in Danzig, which I think is unnecessary. We got the tanks pushing up that way. So I'll get the armies all moved around, figure out where those are gonna go, move our planes since we don't need them over here anymore, you know, or at least not in the Northern Balkans. Probably don't need them here either. Yeah, there's not really much fighting here left. And so yeah, we'll see what happens here. So we'll keep them in Czechoslovakia for now. But yeah, I'll get everything all set up. And yeah, we'll have to sign these dockyards and these, these factories. Uh, we do actually have army experience. So that's another thing we could do while we're waiting. Is we could finish training these. Uh, we only have two more adjustments we need to make. Uh, two more things we need to add here. Because we didn't finish up with the combat with. You know, the combat battalions. Just the support battalions that we need to do. Or the support companies. And so just add two there. And then these guys are good to go. And so you could train while you wait. Get them up to the next experience level. And shoot, we didn't even finish fully training some of these units here. So could do that as well. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see guys. We'll see what the best, the best option for us is. But I think it is probably waiting so the Italians can lose this territory here. I think it's over. Germany's fighting alone. They're completely surrounded. It's just a matter of time. So the war against the Central Powers is kind of a joke. Yeah, because they just, uh, yeah, they didn't defend their front enough, and they couldn't defend their front enough. I don't know. Uh, they didn't take our, I guess the 15 days wasn't enough time for them to get, like, entrenched. They didn't take us as a serious threat for some reason. I don't know why they didn't expect us to invade. Yeah, they just kind of just let us uh, take each country one at a time, so that was weird. So I guess the uh, the big war will be against Japan, which, you know, we got to fight Japan and China here. And Japan is looking powerful, so, I mean, they've gotten all this conquered. They've got the resources they need. We'll have to send troops over here to defend this. I've got these guys training. So we'll have to send an army over there in anticipation. That's another thing we'll do while we uh, wait to go to war with Germany, as I'll start moving troops over to over to this front in preparation for the war against Japan, because that's the one that's, uh, I guess, going to matter at this point. We do have a, a trait here for this field marshal. He's in charge of a this regular army right now. Might want to get some more commanders. I don't know if we'll be able to fully promote him or anything. Probably not. Yeah, we'll just promote him as is, rather than uh, trying to give him commendations. You know, of course, giving them medals does help the division, so there there are some reasons to do it. But yeah, we'll probably just promote some some dudes using the the command power. Although I think we need sixty or is it eighty? It might be eighty. So yeah, we might not be able to get any other guys. Might just have to use field marshals in some of these these spots, because we still have several armies being led by field marshals. I think it's like three or something like that. Two or three armies that have field marshals. There's two. There's three. So it looks like there's three armies that are still being led by field marshals, so we'll have to get three more generals. So I don't see that happening. Maybe one more is all we'll be able to get. Despite the awkwardness of how this is going. I hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.